it's vaccination day, pedicure day. That's right. Neil <laughs> Anderson joins us live from the new zoo in Swamico. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning. Yes, it is vaccination day down in the children's zoo, and across from the children's zoo is the giraffe exhibit. And although they've been vaccinated oh, a few months back, they are going to have a different procedure. You see Jessica, one of our zookeepers, she's in there working. Zuri is uh, our female giraffe, and she's in the giraffe restraint shoot, and she's in a position right now that you can go and take a look at her at her hooves. And uh, with me is Dr. Gilbert. And Doc, you got an interesting tool there that you're that you're holding, and what do we use that for? Yeah, this is this is not one of our higher tech medical tools. This is a common garden variety angle grinder, but this is what we need to actually take the excess claw off of that hoof. And it's actually keratin like your fingernail, but it's so thick that we can't do it with the typical instruments that we use in smaller animals like the goats that we just saw. It's an interesting thing with the, the giraffes and the goats and these other ruminants is that they're actually standing on their toes and they only have two toes. So they bear weight a little bit to the inside of the front foot and to the outside of the, the back foot. And so because they bear weight differently on those two toes, the hooves grow at different rates. And that's one reason that we need to go in there and make sure that they're even. So we're trying to keep them even so the weight distribution is the same and that helps us prevent joint problems higher up in the leg. Zuri had one of her claws done last week and she was very good for that. Um, Shannon's cleaning the hoof off for us and getting Zuri ready to lift that hoof and what we'll do is we'll, we'll use actually a strap, have her lift that hoof and then we'll hold it up with a strap and then we'll take this grinder tool and give her a pedicure. And we're gonna take that hoof that? wall back about a, an inch. Yeah, That's it doesn't actually hurt though. It's just like your fingernails. Okay, and I, I remember from, I mean, we, we've spent so much time with the giraffes and, and learning all about them. But for the giraffe to do what it just did right now, that took some time, right? Getting used to um, having the keepers touch their legs and, and work with them. That's, that's correct. It, it took about a year to get her to the point where she is today where she'll stand for this procedure. Um, and actually to, to lift the hoof up for us like that and then allow us to use a strap to hold it up while we work on that is, is a huge, huge step. This is a, a noisy tool and they do feel a vibration as you can imagine mm -hmm. on that hoof wall. Um, but it's, it's really amazing how tolerant she's been. She's been very good for this. Uh, before we go, Neil, um, can you give us an update sure. on the kookaburro, if you would? I think we have a picture of it, too. Yes. Yeah, the, the kookaburro is uh, doing well, and uh, we're hoping probably in another month we'll be out on the exhibit as soon as it warms up a little bit more. But you can see with the picture, it is one day shy of six weeks old. Its uh, feathers are all coming in nice. It looks, it's going to look like the adult uh, real quick here. But it'll be in the Australian exhibit with the adults. and. We're probably looking at somewhere into mid-May that that one will be on exhibit. Awesome. Very good. All right. Well, we'll let you get busy um, uh, doing the pedicure and stuff. Yeah. I, and I don't. I, <laughs> <Very> Rachel, <laughs> you don't use that for your toes, do you? Well, no, but my <laughs> husband. <no>. <laughs> but I can tell you, you can get the job done real quick that way. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> All right, Neil, you thank go. you, and thank you to Dr. It's Gilbert, too. It's all about speed. <laughs> there you See go. Ya.